and welcome to day one of the D23 Expo. As you can see, I am Anna from Frozen 2. I'm so excited. I love this wig. I love this dress. It's going to be so much fun. We're heading to the Expo. It's about, let me see, it's about 20 past 7 right now. So it should be really fun. I'm really excited. We're going to the animation panel. So that is going to be the highlight of today. We are here at the Expo. We're going through security now. Okay, so over here we have the bags and I actually use these for shopping back home so I'm very excited to get them. And over here we have the show guides which are very important because they have maps. And then over here we have some extra lanyards. Very important so you don't lose your pass. We are at the Expo. There we can see the sign. If you look over here they're doing some sort of painting. Looks pretty cool, I can't wait to see the finished product. If you see over there, that's the voice of Mickey Mouse. And to the left, the girl in the grey, I think she's Ashley Erickson, the voice of Ahsoka. Mickey is already there. Oh, so exciting. We are walking down to where we need to be. Walking to the gate now, so exciting. You look great as Olaf, I love it. Yeah, so mum is Olaf and I am Anna. We're, we're a vibe today, we're a vibe. <laughs> we have a Mirabelle sign over here. She's looking adorable. I think I have finally worked out where I'm meant to be. Over the other side. We are here. We're ready to go. Look at that line. We are officially in the line. I feel like I've done this before. So I'm sitting down in the line right now. It's about 8.30, so we've only got about a half hour to go. Obviously, the people that have been queuing since 4.30, they're gonna get in before us, so I might be a little longer, but hopefully, it'll all be fine. Fingers crossed. Okay, so here is the guide. As you can see, there's multiple floors. So this is the main floor over here. We've got the arena, which has the plane. We've got some of the stages over there. All looks pretty good. We are finally moving. It's so exciting. What time is it? I think it's like, let's check the time. Five to 10. Five to 10, it took us an hour, but we are moving. Now we're walking back to where we were before. We're coming in, finally. Come on in, come on in. We are on the show floor now. As you can see, we're in the Marvel zone. Okay, so my first stop is the sunglass hut and I got some amazing sunglasses with a pin. That first one at the front is the one I'm getting. And I'm also getting Would some you be amazing if I asked? So I just finished up at the sunglass hut. I got myself some goodies. I'm really excited and we're gonna head somewhere else now. I just found an Anna and Elsa photo up, obviously. I'm taking a picture because I'm on it today. Ooh, we've got a very secretive curtain here for the 2023 release. I think it is Penelope. We shall see. This is the animation booth. As you can see, it looks amazing. Oh, so pretty. We got a couple of screens. I think we got a bit of a strange world photo up back there. As you can see here, we've got some of the plants from Strange World. Looks really awesome. There's the strange world photo up. Looking amazing. I've been photographed twice today by media, which is pretty fun. I can feel very special. Now we're waiting for the strange world photo up, and I think they've got a gift over there, so hopefully I can get that. Okay, so I just finished the strange world photo up, and I got a pin of splat. I absolutely love pins. Also, just behind me, I'll see whether I can get an angle without killing anyone. There is a mysterious curtain where it says they'll have a photo up for the 2023 release. Over here is where they're doing the signings and the giveaways. So I'm kind of hoping I might be able to join in for the Encanto one. So we're on to the Pixar Zone now. We've got a Cars on the Road, which I haven't seen yet because I'm overseas, but I will be very soon. This is Pixar's next film, Elemental, which we'll be finding a lot more about this afternoon. We have Elemental over here, and then we've got a Lightyear photo up. Okay, this is the Mickey's of Glendale shop, which hopefully we'll be able to get into at some point. There is the craziest line of the expo, the Mickey's of Glendale's pin store, crazy times. Over here is Talent Central, and you can see the schedule is right up there. There's this amazing Coco photo op, and this girl looks so good. Oh, she's incredible. Whoever you are, you rock. Okay, so we've only got 30 minutes to our shopping reservation, so we're just swanning around the show floor. It's been a bit of fun. I've got to meet a lot of fun people, some animators and other people that work at Disney, which I think is really special. And we've also got a bunch of free pickets, which is amazing. This is adorable. It's like a little Target store, but it looks like a diner. We are heading into the Gold Member Lounge. 
so exciting. It looks very relaxing. I just finished some more shopping at Rock Club where I got my Raya necklace. If you look oh, down yeah. here, you can see tangled necklaces and that's what I just bought. Okay, so it's finally time for our shopping reservation. So we are heading upstairs to the Mickey's of Glendale's slash D23 store. So I'm hoping they have some amazing stuff there, fingers crossed. Okay, we are now upstairs and we hope we're going the right way. We are now at the shop. This is a lot more civilized than it is downstairs. Ah. Oh so quiet and we are now in the store so I'm going to get this amazing shirt it looks really good and I'm also going to get the Mirabel version of the pin because Encanto is the best another lot of shopping has been completed now we are going to our second shopping reservation and we hope something is there fingers crossed we are now entering the marketplace and we are in the store! Over here we've got the Anna and Elsa dolls, so cute! Here is the 100 years, but they're not here yet. Later this year. Ah, later this year. They're very nice, these 100 years. Love them. Here's some more 100 years. Looking great. They've got some really cool avatar merch here. Look at these ears. So cool. I'm obsessed with these town ears. They're so cute. Over here is a denim jacket that I've got my eye on. I've made a decision that I'm getting these exclusive expo ears for the 100th. Another thing I'm getting are these adorable pins. I love them, especially the ones with the macaroons. Because I'm a big Marie fan, I'm getting that teapot. It is so cute. We've done some damage at the expo. We're gonna try to get a locker now. Okay, so unfortunately, there were no more lockers left, which was so annoying, because I have this massive bag, and I tried to get reservations again, couldn't get it. This virtual queue was a complete joke, I hate it. And I think it's also because I'm Australian, and my app is dodgy. Anyway, I am heading back to where mum is right now, because she is relaxing. <laughs> so we don't have very long to the animation panel now, so we're just gonna swan around a bit, see what's around, and then we're gonna head in. So exciting. Here is a very cool photo op. Love it, it's adorable. We're just heading into the visa area and apparently you get a free pin, so obviously I had to go. Looks pretty cute, looks pretty cute. Uh, here we are, free pin, that's what we want. Hi, free pin, music to my ears. So there is a free pin, you can't really see it very well with the focus right now, but it's a visa suitcase. So we are outside, we are going to enter whole eve of the panel. I'm so excited, in a couple of hours, we'll know what Disney is doing in the future, and it's so exciting. We will be making it, no problem. We've got so much time. We are in another hall right now, and we are going downstairs. We are back in the basement. Such good times. Hi everyone, I'm here with Jonathan. Say hey. Greetings, you fools. No, I'm kidding. You guys are doing great. How are you guys? Well, Jonathan has his own YouTube channel. Are you going to plug it? Yes, it's Jonathan yes. Pinzone. That's all I can say. Yeah. It's mostly, I don't know, theme park stuff, whatever I can do, you know. You should totally subscribe. If you like my content, you like his content. Yeah, and you also love her content as well, so. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah, definitely subscribe. And we're about to go into the animation panel. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm oh. ready. 2023 movie. It's a mysterious. Yeah. It's in curtains. We're gressing Penelope slash yeah. Bluebeard. My biggest theory is that it's hand drawing. Oh, yes. Hand drawing. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. It's happening. We'll see you when we go yeah. in there. But Air we'll have to give away our phones soon. So yeah, sadly. Next time we see you, we might know all the information. We will. <laughs> we're going into the panel now. We're it's doing so it. Exciting. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Everybody. We'll probably have to get rid of our phones. But we'll yeah. see you at the end and we will be so high path. I can I think we're gonna be like ah. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go insane. We're gonna be in tears maybe. I don't know. Oh and this is Rachel by the way. Rachel. Say Rachel, hi, Rachel, Jonah Plugger channel. Hi, Rachel's website. Reviews. Check it out. Yay! We're walking in, it's dark. I'm not sure if you can see anything, but I promise you we're here. We're inside the panel and the vibes are going off. Wow, I'm so pumped. They still haven't taken away our phone. Ah, uh, to uh... Yes! <laughs> so, you can get to see the inside of the panel. This is pretty exciting. We are in our seats. We're about to start and they're playing almost there. Very appropriate song for this moment because we are almost there. And of course, our Giselle, uh, Amy Axe. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this really nice 
family of raccoons came and sat down at this lunch. <laughs> it's true. Very polite. They were not just polite. They were enchanted. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, obviously we can't, you know, make a scary movie just without a certain something. Uh, Rafiki, Timon, and Pumbaa, who we all know and love, are relaying the story of Mufasa and how it came to be to a very, very beautiful, awesome, fantastic young cub. Um, it's, a, it's a story about how Mufasa rose to royalty, and we assume that he was just born into uh, his lineage, but uh, Mufasa was actually an orphaned cub who had to navigate the world alone by himself. And in telling this story, we get to experience uh, the real journey of how Mufasa found his place in the circle of life. But we also strive to bring something new and unexpected. The team we have assembled includes director Mark Webb, and Tony, Grammy, and Oscar-winning songwriters Pasek and Paul of The Greatest Showman in our 2019 Alaska. They are on board to craft some new songs to complement the classics. So, you know the big beats of this story, you know the story very well. So today, I would like to share a very, very early glimpse of two of the most iconic characters in the Disney canon. Take a look. Rachel here is crying, is crying, and excited. I didn't even see it, I don't know what you guys just saw. God, I love it. Just her reaction, it means the world to us. First of all, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're right in the middle, as you know, of uh, post-production and um, things are unfinished, but I had to show you something. I wanted to show you something, and I didn't want to show you just a... So, we're going to show you the entire sequence of Part of Your World. But sometimes that toughness turns into a temper that she can't control. Up at Pixar, we just want to make sure that she looks like she's made of fire instead of being on fire. <laughs> and this is Wade. He's our sappy water guy. And because he's transparent, we always know what he's feeling, you know? And uh, so again, the teams up at Pixar want to make sure that he's got that fun, watery, sloshy qualities to him. And we're just so proud of what they've been doing. Now, the chemistry of these two characters is such an important part of this movie. And finding two actors that can bring that same chemistry was equally important. So please welcome our Amber and Wade, Leah Lewis and Mamadou Ache. Each of our episodes follows the same week, but from a perspective of a different main character. We might follow, you know, a kid, a parent, the umpire, and we'll see life as they experience it. In other words, you, the audience, get to see what the character is actually feeling and in their own unique visual style. In the end, all of these stories weave together in the final episode of our championship game. The characters come together having been through an incredible week and maybe having even gained a little perspective and maybe a little empathy for one another. Bring us your leader. Oh, 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 I know. Here are the two leaders making our next original film. Please welcome director Adrian Molina and producer Mary Ellis Drum. Well, that's what our film is about, and it is called Elio. Oh and my we're God. excited to be announcing it right now here at D23 Expo. Elio is an 11 year old kid living on Earth who's a lot more artistic and creative than he is athletic or rough and tumble. <laughs> He's an ambitious dreamer, an avid indoorsman, and now to talk about his feelings. <laughs> But one thing he can't figure out is how to fit in. And he lives with his mom, Olga, who runs a top secret military project <laughs> to decode a strange signal from outer space, oh figure out where it's coming from, and who sent it. However, due to some extraordinary circumstances, it's Elio who makes first contact, and he's beamed up to space and transported across the galaxy to the Communiverse, which is like an intergalactic United Nations of advanced alien species. It's a sparkling space city filled with all sorts of alien architecture. This is outer space like no one has ever seen before. And it's filled with creatures of all shapes and sizes. 
It's here where Elio, a kid who struggles to fit in on Earth, accidentally becomes our planet's ambassador to the rest of the universe. <laughs> Ultimately, Earth's fate will rest on whether Elio can fight through his self-doubt and prove to the universe that the best part of being human is just being yourself, even if yourself feels a little alien to everyone else. Please welcome to the stage the voice of Elio's mom, America Ferreira! I am so excited to be playing Olga in this beautiful movie. Olga's super confident, smart, she can hold her own in any situation. She's a character that speaks to me in so many ways as a mother. Would it be called Elio without our main character? And I'm thrilled to introduce you all to our Elio, someone I've fallen in love with in two minutes and you're all about to fall in love with. Please welcome Jonas Kivria. Jonas, tell us what it was like when you found out that you were cast as Elio. I was just super excited. I was jumping up and down, high-fiving my dad. And it was a funny story when I got the call from <laughs> Atlas. We were driving to another audition and we pulled into a little strip mall and right in front of us was a restaurant called Olga's Kitchen. At that point, I felt like it was just the universe congratulating me. <laughs> I was so grateful to be in a Pixar movie and play Elio. All the sights, the sounds, and yes, the smells of D23. <laughs> but, uh, Pete, wasn't there something you wanted to tell everybody? What, now? Mm -hmm. I thought we'd... Well, okay. Oh my God. Main Street USA will be open an extra two hours. <laughs> <laughs> inside Riley's head. That's right, and we have an amazing team making it. I'm going to be passing the director torch to the very talented Kelsey Mann Ooh. to be directing. Oh, he's great. He is great. And we also have Meg Lafave, who's writing the script. She wrote the original uh, Inside Out. Oh, she's terrific. Absolutely. And Mark Nielsen is producing. Oh, Mark, he's the best. Well, but time. I can tell you that it takes place in Riley's head, only this time, She's a teenager. Right. That's my prediction. That was a prediction years ago. Fine. Okay, okay. I guess I won't tell them about the new emotions that show up. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's, that's all. Inside Out 2 comes out summer of 2024. Pete, I can't stop. Okay. I can't tell you. I don't know about you, but I have dreaming of this moment where we actually get to be together. And today, everything, everything we are sharing is truly never before seen. As you can tell, we're a little excited about 2023. I don't know, we are. But at Walt Disney Animation Studios, the studio that started it all, on the eve of our 100th anniversary, we see today as a moment of privilege and promise. A privilege to be stewards of a studio in a dream that Walt and his brother Roy started a century ago. And I am excited that the first collaboration with an outside studio ever in our hundred years is with the three gentlemen I have the honor to introduce you to now. Please welcome to the stage our collaborators on the series of Waju, the Kugali founders, Olafakai Uziki Adeola, Hamid Ibrahim, and Tolu Owa Tola, our main character, is a persistent, stubborn, very charismatic 10-year-old, eager to explore the world around her. And then there is Kole, Tola's best friend, a self-taught tech expert and a loving son who works hard to care for his mother. But protecting her could mean he has to partner with a questionable ally. Botin is tall as curious and calculating robotic pet lizard who has a secret host of protective skills and defensive weapons. Oscar winning director of Big Hero 6 Don Hall is reteaming with the incredible co writer of Raya, Kui Gwen, for this all new adventure. So please welcome to the stage director Don Hall and co director and writer Kui Gwen. And now, T23, as a world premiere exclusive. You will be the first to see this. It is our first, or our newest, Strange World trailer. 
you play Ethan Clay, uh, which is Serger's son and Jaeger's grandson, and what I think will be a lot of kids' favorite character, what was it like to uh, make that role? It was a dream come true. I just feel like Ethan's role, he's really just like, you know, the vibe master. He like, <laughs> just really makes the vibe great. I don't know, but he's great. He's an incredible kid. He's just like super excited for adventure, like his grandfather, not like his dad. And it was just really great to play him. He's like, I, I felt a part of myself in him and I feel like everybody can. He's a great guy. Everyone in the hall today is gonna get a one of a kind exclusive poster from Strange World. A few years ago, my fellow directors and I started talking about our hundred and our legacy. And we thought, what better way to celebrate a century of storytelling than to tell an original story with original characters and songs inspired by our legacy of films. And we started to dream. And you know what they say about dreams. I'm excited to announce our 2023 feature film, Wish. This film means so much to all of us at the studio, and it has been an incredible collaboration across all the generations. I've had the honor to contribute as one of the writers on the film. Oh my god, yes. And the, and the film couldn't be in better directorial hands. One is an incredible filmmaker trained by one of Walt's nine old men. And the other is the filmmaker that is blowing us away and leading the next generation at the studio. So please welcome to the stage my fellow Frozen director, the yes. fantastic yes. Chris Buck, and joining Chris as director of Wish, Fallen, Bruce, and Thor. This is, uh, this is my third time here, and I think the crowd gets better and better, don't you? And this is Juan's first time, so be nice. And through our experience, we realized that there truly is no greater power in the universe than someone with a true wish in their hearts. With that in mind, we created a world that is all about just that, wishing. A fantasy fairy tale kingdom that existed long before Snow White dreamed by her wishing well, or Geppetto wished for Pinocchio to be a real boy. This is Rosas. But it's better known as the kingdom of wishes, because here, your wishes can literally come true. We looked back at some of our most beloved films, you know, the first animated features born of Walt's dream. And it got us thinking, what if we could blend the classic with contemporary for something completely new? And that courageous heroine is named Asha. Ooh. Asha is 17, yeah. She is driven, she's incredibly smart, and optimistic with a sharp wit, who cares endlessly about her community. Asha is also a leader in the making, although uh, even if she doesn't know it yet. Asha learns that it's not enough just to have a dream in your heart. Sometimes the bigger the wish, the harder the journey. In Asha's case, her journey puts her up against one of the most formidable foes in Disney history. Asha sees a darkness in the kingdom that nobody else does and must find a way to help the people she loves. So in a moment of desperation, Asha makes an impassioned plea to the stars, wishing with all her heart for guidance and help. And the power of her wish calls down an actual star from the sky. And this is star. <laughs> the answer to Asha's wish, the one that will help her through her journey. Star is a cosmic force made of things such as possibility, imagination, and hope. But Star is also a little ball of boundless energy, impossibly curious, and a giant beacon of chaos. <laughs> Star is far too evolved for language, only communicating through pantomime, an animator's dream to bring to life. So here's an exclusive test in which our animators were experimenting with both Asha and Star. A man who has been in every film of ours over a decade. Disney Animation's good luck charm, Alan Tudyk! I cannot believe that it has been 10 years. 10 years since I did my first role for Disney, which was Kate Candy. <laughs> <laughs> He's still my favorite. He was so fun and then he was so mean. <laughs> 
and in those 10 years, I have also, uh, well, I played the search engine. Uh, <laughs> knows more, knows more. Isn't that interesting? Been wrecking around you. Uh, I also played a billionaire uh, who sounded exactly like me. So that was really easy. I do him all day long. I was a Duke Weasel. <laughs> who kicked donuts around and stuff like that. And I was also a Wessel <laughs> Uh, I was tuck. I did tuck tuck. Uh, tuck tuck didn't say a whole lot, but I did make this sound every once in a while. What's the toucan? I was a toucan. Yeah. Uh, in in, in Kanto, I he. Make that sound from time to time. <laughs> Flying in. <laughs> Flying out. <laughs> and then also in Moana. I <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And now. <laughs> and now the role that I've always wanted to play. A goat. <laughs> Valentino, oh, come on. <laughs> He's wearing his pajamas. Uh, now, what you're going to see is the very first test animation uh, that the animation team put together. This is when Star grants Valentino his wish to communicate. This just barely scratches the surface of all that Wish has to offer, and there is so much more we want to share about our film. A film that I will say just might take the concept of Easter eggs to a whole new level. Uh, but you know that we have to keep some things a secret, so we want to thank you all. This has been, you have been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fun. Okay, I, I talked to Alan. <laughs> yes, Jen. We can't have this live audience here and not give them a little bit more, maybe. Well, Zion? Yeah, Zion. What do you think, 223? Yeah. Do you remember when Julie Michael sent us the very first song for us? Absolutely. The, the song is called More For Us. It's a song that truly captures that moment when Asha, having discovered a dangerous truth in her world, looks up to the stars for guidance and makes her wish. Well, I think there's no better way to truly kick off our 100th anniversary than to share that song with Disney's greatest audience. <laughs> we thank you all for being here today, and we want to leave you with this exclusive performance. D23 Expo, here to sing more for us. Please welcome our leading lady, our Asha, the Academy Award winning actress, the one and only Ariana DeBose. Why do I feel so weighed down by you? If I could show them everything I've seen, open their eyes to all the lies, then would they change their minds like I did? We just finished the panel and it rained stars. There's the Disney 100 logo. Oh, that was so magical. So we're in Mickey's and Glendale's main store and I'm getting this shirt, The Wonderful World of Dreams. And I'm also getting this amazing hat. There's some awesome pens here as well. We got some of these last year and they're really, really good. As you can see, Mum is picking out several pens right now because they're adorable. And there's these amazing rulers. Love it. And we are checking out now. We're going back into Disney Animation to see the Wish stuff. And there is the Wish photo up. There's a lot of people in the way, but we'll get to see it eventually. We're just doing standby for the pennant and we're getting some Raya artwork too. Here we are, we're gonna get our stuff. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Look over here. Wish looks incredible. So pretty. 
went through the Wish photo op and we got this beautiful picture and it's so pretty and I love it. Okay, so our last stop for today is we are going to get something from the Gold Member Lounge. We're gonna get the poster, so fingers crossed they're not closed yet. We are now at the Gold Member Lounge and we are picking up our free poster. Hi everyone, I'm back in my hotel room now and I'm about to get ready to go to a Hulu party, which I'm really excited about, so I'll see you there. Hi, we are heading to the Hulu after party now under our one umbrella because it's right. <laughs> The mini We're, travel umbrella. The mini travel umbrella. <laughs> We're trying to get an Uber because it's really raining. Well, it was hot. Now it's raining. I'm so confused. It should be weather. cooler tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Down to a, a balmy 29 degrees oh, tomorrow. Oh, how nice. How nice. Oogie Boogie Bash is going to be funny if it's this raining. Oh, God. Bye. Just arrived at the Hulu party and they're at full capacity, so we can't get in. Which is beyond frustrating because we thought we had tickets and it was all good. We were a little late because we had a bit of Uber drama, but gosh, this is real bad. We got to the front a lot quicker than I expected. Ready for some food and bowling. Seeing a bit of Hulu stuff up ahead. Pretty excited. This party is popping. Oh my gosh, looks amazing. Over here we've got some burgers. Looks delicious. We have acquired a cheeseburger and I think mum is very happy. So much joy. So over here we have some pizza. And if you look at the menu, go you. we've got margarita, barbecue chicken, and meat lovers. Good options. Good options. Okay, so I have a bit of a stash here. I've got a cheeseburger and I've got a margarita pizza. Really liking this cheeseburger. Really delicious. Highly recommend. Love it. Oh my gosh, what kind of cookies are they? I believe it's a sugar cookie. Yum. I just got these amazing cookies. They're so cute. They've got the 100 years on them. Over here they've got some more pizza similar to the setup upstairs. And over here they've got a photo op for Disney 100. Coconut chocolate truffle. Thank you so much. Amazing. Mum just got a self alignment soda. Delicious. <laughs> I just got this amazing Hulu goodie bag. I can't wait to find out what's in it. 